What's going on, YouTube? Um, today is a good day. Today is a really good day. Um, last night, uh, my doctor came in and they took me off with a high flow. So I am like on a regular oxygen, which that is a blessing. That's something that I didn't even think was going to happen. So now I could, I can go to a rehab now because I, they wouldn't let me go to a rehab because my oxygen, I, I required too much oxygen, they say. So my doctor came in last night and, or one of the doctors who has something to do with the oxygen and all of that. He, um, him and I guess his colleagues got together and decided to see how I work without the, um, the big oxygen. And at first I struggled with it because my body was so used to having so much oxygen to, it was a little struggle, but I made it through the night. Um, by me making it through the night, I made it through the day, um, which that's a blessing. So hopefully I'll know something between tonight and tomorrow on where they're going to send me or if they can send me someplace to help me get off the oxygen altogether. So I am... Um, officially on regular oxygen right now. I've been on the oxygen since four or five yesterday afternoon. Today is Monday or Sunday night. It is exactly what? Two, two fifteen, two sixteen and I am on very little oxygen. I struggle a little bit, but um, getting the oxygen where I need to be and how I need it to be, um, I've been able to, to keep it going. Um, so today my video is I'll be going home sooner than I think, hopefully, or either to a rehab, which that's a still, you know, um, I just pray that I continue to keep this up where I can get off of it all together. Um, this has been a hard journey that I've been on and it's almost coming to an end like on my other videos, I said, um, my life has changed because if I had to go home with an oxygen tank, you know, it is what it is. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, <clears throat> dog, my beard is full and look neat at that. Didn't expect it to look that bad. It's not that bad. Hmm. Trim it up a little bit. But anyhow, um, hopefully, um, I have some more news this afternoon or sometime tomorrow on the rehab. Um, so, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, hopefully you guys um, look at my video and kind of see how serious the coronavirus is 
And if you got family members that's in my position right now, you can understand how they're going through it. That's why I did the video so people can see, you know, although I wish I could tell you other scenarios that's happening with other people, but I know this is my, my um, oxygen level is the one that's got me tied up right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I keep looking at the monitor because I have to keep my um, oxygen at a certain level. And I have been doing it for since last night, so that's a very good thing for me that um, my oxygen will progress. It will get stronger. We'll be able to I'll be able to function on my own. Um, so, which that's a that's a blessing that I could never have. I would think I, I didn't think I was going to have this early. Um, I thought I was going to stay on the oxygen for a long time. So, being said, I got off of it just that quick. Only God could have done that. I I, I don't. I, I didn't see my way getting off that oxygen tank. No way, no how. And how God made it just one day, just like the snap of His finger, took me off of it. I don't know. I just don't know. All I can say is thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I can say. Because I, I, I still can't believe it. So, I am so happy I be able to see my family soon. It's been 25 days since I've seen them. And to see them will be a blessing because I've been in this hospital fighting this by myself and it's been hard hard I can't imagine but I can't imagine because I'm dealing with the same thing. I know my wife has been dealing with to not have me around for 25 days. It's been hard on her. Hard on her. That's my best friend. My best friend. So, hopefully I'll know something today um, on <clears throat> what I be, what's my next journey after this. I hope my voice come back. But if not, it is what it is. At least I can talk. At least I can talk. I think that this is a big learning experience for me and my family, a big learning experience. And I just wish nobody else had to go through what I'm going through because it can get ugly. Anyhow, this video is short because I don't want to 
get my emotions in too much because I don't want to lose my concentration on what I'm trying to do and to keep my um, my numbers up where they need to be. So I'm going to cut this video short. If you guys see me on the blog, remember to like, share, and subscribe. That's always nice. Check out my wife's channel just as well. Um, all I can say is just be be mindful of what you guys do out in the world. Always wear your mask because, like I say, the coronavirus is not going nowhere no time soon. So, and I did, and I do know that people who had the coronavirus can get it again. It ain't like it's not going to come to you again the second time around. And the second time around is worse because now the coronavirus will attack whatever your issue was the first time worse and then something else. So just be mindful what you guys do. Make sure you wear your mask, wash your hands, still do the six feet distance because people out there are not doing it. People don't really care. They did that same thing as I'll never get it. I stayed in the house. I didn't go nowhere. I didn't do nothing. And I still got it. So you can get it regardless if you want it or not. You know. But at least now I know um, to stay clear and what to do and what not to do. Um, that's all I can say. I know my teeth look bad, y'all, but I try to brush them in here, but it's ain't too much stuff they give you. And it's ain't too much stuff your wife and family can bring you. So, but anyhow, this is my vlog for the day. 25 days in the hospital. If you guys see me on the vlog, remember, like, share, and subscribe. And we still not for sale. And like I always say, mm -hmm.